Hello guys, uh, this is Melkamu from Makala University and together with my colleagues Amane and uh, Takalai. So today we will uh, do how to install a solar pump system. So the first thing that we should have to check is the panel. As you see it here, we have a panel. Uh, so uh, in order to see the name plates, uh, I will uh, read the name plate. It says like maximum power point is like 80 watts and we need a voltage which is 18 volt, 18 volt, and the current maximum power is 4.46. So uh, then we should have to check whether this panel uh, gives us the written and the specification. So that I will check whether it gives the correct voltage and current on the panel. So the first thing that I do is like. I will uh, install here the voltage, the positive to the voltage, and the negative to the common. Then I will press to 200 because it only takes out only, which is 21.6 voltage. So then I will check here. I have. A positive terminal but most of the time we get on the male and female way so here we have 20.1 or 2 something so the current is I mean the voltage is correct so uh, but this voltage varies according to the position of the panel so if we cover the panel that means we reduce the amount of voltage that we get from the panel and also the inclination angle also does matter how much voltage that we get from the PV. And then we'll check for the current. But the current, you should have to be careful that if we are connecting panels in, in series or in parallel, if it is in series, the current is the same, but if it is in parallel, the current will be added. So if it is added, so you should have to check that whether you have that uh, current, I mean the added current. If That means if I connect these 10 panels together, that means the current is 4.46 that means the current becomes 44.6 so I can't measure that that amount of current with this meter so the thing that I need is a clamp meter so by using a clamp meter we can measure that amount of current but for a home system or for a garage or for maybe for a two or three rooms this panel may be enough so that uh, in order to measure the current for this panel it is the maximum current is 4.46 so I can use this one because this current, this uh, device measures up to 10 ampere, 10 ampere. So the thing that I do is, as I do it before, I will change to the current side here, 10 ampere side, and then the common goes to the negative, and the positive goes to the 10 ampere side. So I will see the measurement. So the positive is already connected, so I will see the current. Then I will switch to the current side. So I read one point. Uh, it varies. It varies. So here I read about one point something. That means, uh, as you see it here, if the current is covered uh, when he uh, pictures me, or uh, because he covers some of the panels, some of the panels, it varies the current. You see? Now it's one point six seven. But if I cover this, you see how much the difference? Because the current matters with the radiation. So as the radiation increases, so there is also an increment on current output. So uh, now we check the panel, it's correct. So we get what we need from the panel. Then the next thing that we should do is check the battery, whether the battery is dead or not. So uh, as you see it here, there is no crack on the panel, so it's okay, so we can proceed. So we check the physical uh, property, the physical property is okay. Then we check the uh, current and the voltage output, so the voltage and the current output is okay, so now we can proceed to the battery. So when we come to the battery, uh, we cover the nameplate of the battery because we are not doing a promotion here. So uh, that's why, you can choose your own battery according to the thing is uh, co considered on your uh, design 
according to the things considered on your design so that for my design I need a 12 volt battery so the 12 volt battery with 100 amp power so uh, I will use uh, this one so let me check the voltage as we said before so I will arrange the, to the voltmeter and to the common side so here I have a common and I have a voltmeter here so the voltmeter the positive goes to the positive that means the red goes to, to the red to the positive side here on the battery we have a positive and a negative so here is a positive and here is a negative so you can see it or the black means po negative and the red means positive so that I will arrange my meter in this way so the negative is connected in voltage and the, I mean in common and the positive is connected in voltage then I will measure so as you see it here as you can see on the meter this is a positive and this is a negative so I should have to arrange the meter to the voltage side to the voltmeter uh, it's all so that's why uh, and let us measure by using 16 600 volt so okay now it's uh, done so i can measure the voltage as you see it here it is new you can see so as you see it here it's 12.5 12.5 voltage so that means the uh, battery is not dead so i can connect it to the charge controller so that i can get the desired amount so as you see it here the battery size 1200 that means 12 volt with 100 amp power so that means 100 ampere in a hump in in a hour so with if we need 100 ampere for an hour only so we can use this battery for an hour only that means you can multiply according to your uh repeliences you have inside your house so now we can proceed to the others so we check the battery we check the panel so the battery in the panel is okay so we bought this uh, inverter here also uh, i don't mean to show you that uh, this kind of inverter is good but i'm just doing how to connect the inverter for a home system so this is as it says here it's a 600 watt a 600 watt inverter so that means for the appliances, I should have to use appliances equivalent with this 600 watt. So I bought this one and I bought a charge controller here. So the charge controller is, this working voltage is 12 to 24. That means when you bought a charge controller and inverter, you should have to check the specification. That means this is a 12 volt battery. So if it is a 12 volt battery, we should have to connect it with a 12 volt inverter. At, at the same time, we should have to connect it with a 12 volt charge controller. That means, according to that, we bought this one. So the charge controller voltage, working voltage is size that it can work with 12 and 24, so it's okay. And also the rate of charge current is 20 ampere. That means that it, it controls the, the current up to the 20 ampere uh, value so we check this one so it's okay for our system so we can proceed it so we can put the charge controller down and then we check the uh, inverter so the inverter is also okay so we can proceed to the next connection so the thing that we use for the inverter is the connection should be like from the battery i mean from the panel it goes to the terminal here that the positive terminal is goes to the charge controller positive on the panel uh, value and then the negative is goes to to this part so i can connect these two cables to the panel and then two cables for, to the battery that means we have a positive terminal which goes to the positive of the battery and the negative terminal which goes to the negative of the battery so that i can connect the battery uh, with the charge controller and if we have dc uh, appliances if we have dc appliances for example uh, this is a dc this is a dc lamp so this dc lamp works in dc that means as you see it here it is 12 volt dc so it can work with a 12 volt dc 
So if I have this kind of appearances, I can connect them directly mm. from the 